This is the Neisner Forest, 60,000 hectares of natural forest, the largest in South Africa and one of South Africa's most famous landmarks. To all intents and purposes, an increasingly rare thing on our planet today, an almost pristine ancient forest, larger than some American states and as big as some European countries. There is an elephant living wild in the forest, and that is the basis of this documentary. One elephant all alone in the massive park, lovingly nicknamed Opuert, probably the loneliest elephant in the world. How do we know there is only one elephant left? In 2020, Sand Parks released their findings from a lengthy survey using trail cams throughout the forest. These cameras are triggered by movement and they even operate after dark. When they analyzed the footage, they were amazed. They saw elephants 140 times. Something about the elephants they saw made them look more closely. And to their shock, they found they'd photographed the same animal 140 times. An enormous landmass with only one elephant? People were stunned and fearful for the future of the entire region and indeed the world. All the elephants that once roamed the forest, gone. One left, a blow for conservation, tourism and even the country. Yes, I do think that they need to have elephants um, because not only are elephants a keystone species, so they are very important um, environmental engineers and um, you know have a very large and important impact on the ecosystem around them um, so without that the ecosystem could even cease to exist. Our view is much worse than the forthcoming death of a single elephant in a national park. Much worse. The death of the last elephant might signal the end for the forest. In years to come the Neisner forest may die away or become a tangled mess of undergrowth and dank spaces because the elephants died. I think the, the people are drawn to the, the mystique of, of the forest elephants and if they go extinct uh, it will have such a knock-on effect on the whole tourism um, industry in, in this area and I think people don't realize it but it will also have a knock-on effect on the entire ecosystem. The, the elephants you know, are responsible for things like seed propagation and, and the, you know, losing them, we might not see the effects of that immediately, but a hundred years from now or 150 years from now, these effects will become apparent and an entire ecosystem could be lost. In 1994, already concerned about the falling numbers of elephants in the forest, the National Parks people made the decision to bring in elephants and three young animals were duly imported and released at a hidden area of the forest known as Dipvala. One died soon thereafter. The remaining two couldn't adapt to living in the forest in such a sudden manner and they departed, heading towards open land and forage they understood. In 1999, they were recaptured and moved to a private reserve. The operation was deemed a complete and utter failure. Meanwhile, time is running out. The public is growing ever more concerned. More and more people are coming to understand with no elephants, there will ultimately be a poorer forest in Neisner. And of course, the mystique will be gone. We certainly do not want to just give up and watch the last elephant die. Nor does the National Parks Board. Is it possible that people who produce documentaries can offer a solution? Why should it be that we can only report on what we see? We have the ability to consult with anyone we choose. We can take opinion on any subject. Sometimes opinions are just pieces of a puzzle. And it is only when we match the pieces that we begin to show the whole picture. This is what has happened in the making of this documentary. A new proposition has emerged. A new way to look at the same old problem, in this case, what to do about the forest and the elephants.